Dr. Thomas Hemmen is a neurologist. He's showing a patient a new method of cooling the blood that he says won't hurt a bit. So the catheter is placed uh, in the uh, groin vein and then it's advanced uh, all the way into the inferior vena cava up to about this point. The newly developed catheter is designed to lower the temperature of blood in stroke or heart attack victims. After a cardiac arrest, the heart can no longer provide oxygen via the blood to the rest of the body. Lowering the blood's temperature reduces the body's demand for oxygen, helping protect vital organs from damage. The catheter is filled with iced saline provided by a refrigeration unit. According to its manufacturers, Inner Cool Therapies, it's far more efficient and effective than the specialized cooling blankets most hospitals have used for decades. Uh, it's very compatible to blood. It doesn't interfere with the blood flow, and at the same time, it removes a lot of heat. Now, our device, it can also measure the temperature of the blood in the vicinity. So not only do we take heat out, but we can monitor the state of the body temperature. And for doctors like Thomas Hemmen, the device has life-saving advantages. By not needing to uh, cool the skin, we cause less shivering. And the shivering, uh, which for the patient would be very uncomfortable, uh, would have to be treated with uh, large uh, doses of sedatives. And if you just had a neurological injury, you don't necessarily want to use large doses of sedatives, which would impair the patient's cognition and our ability to evaluate the patient. The system has been approved for heart attack patients in the United States, but is still on trial for victims of stroke. Dr. Hemmen says he expects the procedure to become standard practice in cases of stroke within five years. Rob Muir, Reuters. Mm -hmm.